Right, good day team. Great little workout for you today. Uh, filming this one for us. Uh, we're doing a sub max session. I think we've got one further back on the channel. Uh, but I was like, you know what? Let's pump another one out. Okay, uh, I love this session. Okay, because it's it's very punchy towards the end. Okay, um, and hence when I mean sub max, what happens is when you've you've heard me talk about it many a times where we start getting towards the end of our sessions is when we're going to make the most right that's where we get our value so today the value is in that last set right down the bottom okay um and when i mean that at sub max it's pretty close to sort of 2k in terms of intensity um but okay the idea is we're trying to work on that efficiency get that rhythm uh, and just really push through and try and maintain whatever we can do, okay? Yes, we're going to get pretty close to failure towards the end of it, but that's what we want, okay? That's where we're trying to head to. Um, no other way to get better than to really push ourselves, okay? So we're getting some really good workouts on the stream here, which really test you, that you can use as part of your programming um, if you need to. Okay, and this is one that's starting to get up there in terms of sort of medium to high intensity. Okay, so as you'll see, it's just four, eight minute pieces. The rest period's not long, it's only two minutes. Um, and as you see, we're just doing two minute changes all the way through. Okay, start the first one at 20, up to 26. Uh, rest takes care of itself. Second one starts at 22, ends at 28, 24, 30, 26, 32. Okay, but she's hard. She's going to be tough. Okay, but we'll be stay really focused. Um, we'll warm up to sort of four or five minutes. Um, we probably don't really need to go into any rate in the warm up. Uh, we just want to really get a good push on uh, as we get into that final part of our warm up. And then when we're there, uh, we're obviously set the machine and we're straight into it. Okay, so that first set uh, will be really just sort of a judging set. We'll get good pace at that 20. And as we increase, we, we're going to work on that as everything that we're trying to do is we work on that ease of rhythm, okay, the ease of rhythm, the speed up of the hands, the travel forward on the slide, that compression as we come into the front, okay, really getting that continuous motion working for us, getting ourselves to work with the machine, not against it, so we flow in, we allow that rhythm around the back turn, that inertia, right, with the handle, not holding it in, not jamming it in, we're letting that speed of the handle around, get back onto the, onto the slide, and just remember, let's really focus today on our relationship between the handle coming out and the seat, which allows us to come forward into that position and that compression and then push away. Okay, um, probably also encourage you if, you, if you don't already do it or do it for one of the sets, uh, press the second button down on the right, which will give you your force curve. Okay, it's a really handy tool to just look at how you're ap applying your pressure. Okay, remember, we don't need to, we're not trying to hit it from the front and go, boof, off the catch. Okay, remember that we're picking, we're squeezing through the middle so that that part when we get through the middle of the stroke is where we've got all the power application. The legs are pushing, the back's coming through, okay, hinging through at these hips, and then all that we're doing is finishing off. But at the same time, we're just hanging, 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 hanging. Okay, armpits down here in the lats, really Feel this hang through, okay? That grip strength, that hang strength will just allow us to sit back. We don't even really need to worry about our arms at all, okay? Right, let's rock and roll. Uh, where are we? Up on five. For me, you guys do whatever with your, your drag factor. Be comfortable, okay? But also, as you get through the workout, nothing wrong with changing your drag if you need to, okay? So, let's get ready. Let's just start our warm-up. However you want to start it. However you want to get prepared. Okay, stretching out. I like to just build off this back, as always. Okay. And then just over these few minutes, just starting to increase that natural length. That compression really feeling the rhythm of our machine, okay?
So the name of the game, stay relaxed, be loose. And as we increase, we increase it naturally through our rhythm. Okay, with speed of the hand, speed of the slide. The drive will get a little bit quicker, okay? But we don't want to think about the power application as much as the speed of what we're doing in terms of our movement, okay? Because we've got a bit of time, obviously in the workout, we're not doing a short burst. We don't have to worry out, outright about how hard we push, okay? We want to be pushing with good intent, but the speed and the application of it is more important than the outright power, okay? So starting to just feel a little bit more as we push. Okay, this is good. Nice rhythm. Okay, just increasing that intensity now. Starting to feel that pressure. Feel the hang, long arm, okay, really leave them out long, right now, nice and flat, try and get those wrists a little bit flatter, and also make the stroke continuous, try and avoid as much as we can any sort of jolty movements, Okay, try and mold it all into one. One continuous movement. Smooth. Okay, feel the push now. Last minute or so here. Feel the pressure. Feel the hang. Nice and relaxed. Flowing. Really start this warm up, finish it now. How we want to start the piece. Good. All right, and just last sort of five or so strokes. Feel the push. Feel the swing. Good. Good pressure. Two more. Good. Okay. I think we're good to go. Okay. If you think you need a little bit more, okay, just pause the video, come back in a minute, uh, do a little bit longer. It's really up to you. Okay. But I think. This first one, we're going to be building into it after sort of four minutes. We'll start getting that increase in rate, okay? And these first few sets are really just to set us up in terms of building the speed so that it gets testy around here for two minutes, testy for four minutes, testy for six minutes, okay? And then testy for that whole eight minutes. So you see the, the progression in terms of where it's starting to be a bit more of a pinch, okay, is increasing as we go through. So, you know, should feel okay at that first one. You're gonna have four minutes in that second set, which is gonna be a little bit like touch and go. Okay, third one, we're gonna get through that and be like, oh, here we go. But it's gonna set us up for that last one, and we're really gonna focus that last set, okay? We're really gonna try and nail it. We're really gonna try and put in our best effort on that last one, okay? And all I'll say, now, before we start, if that rating is a bit high for you, don't worry, okay? Just maintain what you can. If 28 sort of near your limits, then stick for four minutes at 28 up here, and then obviously here, stick for about six minutes at 28. Okay, but let's, let's really try and just, let's push some barriers, let's push some ceiling, let's move on, okay? Know our benchmarks, let's keep trying to push them higher and higher, so that's the only way we're going to get that improvement. Okay, let's go team, let's go. 
Okay, so as normal, uh, let's set our intervals. Okay, select workout, new workout, intervals time. Okay, increase that to eight minutes. Okay, let's go across our rest period, two minutes. Just leave that flashing for a second. Okay, get sorted, ready to go. Okay, check, drag, it's good. Might just put a little bit of grip on my heels. Okay, cool. Right, let's press our check button. Good to go, lock and load. Here we go, team. This is us. Okay, we're gonna have to breathe into it, build through it, gonna be a good workout. Okay, here we go. Right, are you ready? Attention, go. Okay, so it starts off very easy. We wanna find our rhythm first. Natural compression. And patience. So even now, feeling this movement off the back, hands moving away, out over the knees, soft knees. Okay. Let's just start thinking about that application, the squeeze, not a hit, through the stroke, press and swing. Good, leave the arms out long. Good. Okay, so we've got a nice set here. We've got a nice rhythm. This is the platform for piece number one. Okay, nice and smooth, staying loose. Try and leave any tension out, okay? Not getting too tight in the shoulders, the chest. Nice, smooth, long, applicated stroke. Okay, freeing it up. Now, so just moving it a little bit quicker. Okay, and we move quicker. We get more speed. Okay, pretty simple. Really smooth. Okay, so we should be going quicker. We've indirectly added a little bit more effort because we're doing more strokes. Good. So hold that, find our breathing rhythm as well. It'll change through all of these. Okay, because of rating. Just naturally find what works. Okay, there's no secret answer. Get in the oxygen when you can. First and foremost, keep the mouth open, keep the face relaxed. Okay, good. Holding this rhythm nicely. Smooth flow into the front. Remember, seat and handle. Relationship. Very good. Okay, so we're holding very Sustainable rhythm, smooth at the front, feel the compression as we naturally put the brakes on, hold the body 
proud, tall. Okay, here we go, up two. Now. Okay, so breathe into it. Just move that a little bit quicker. Remember, find your way. Doesn't matter if the rate comes in and out a little bit. Just adjust it over a couple of strokes. Good. Core. Holding ourselves steady. And also, feeling as we drive the hips, the lower back, and the core all helping that swing of the body naturally. Good. Good rhythm. Nice. Okay. Maintain. Feel the hand speed around the back. Remember, brush the body with me. Flat draw, keep that chain nice and flat. Don't let it bounce around. Doesn't need to come up. Okay. Don't necessarily need to change too much height. Coming forward. Okay. <clears throat> so here we are. Ready to move. Tap along. Now, okay. So we're just trying to get that flywheel moving a little bit quicker. Once it's there, now we're there. We want to tap it along, okay? Build a ratio. Work, rest, work, rest. Okay, so it's good. Be smooth, efficient. Okay, don't get tense. Shake out that tension. Long arms with me, from the front, hang, feel the push, good, nice rhythm, here it is, okay last minute, hold this, tap it along, try and stay sustainable, Really good. Tap along. Roll into the front. Hands. Feel that rhythm around the turn. Move with that pack up. Hands are out over the knees. Flow forward. Good, nice, good intent, good hang, trying to stay loose, all the way, nice, okay, really good, great first set, okay team, Okay, breathe it out. See how it just starts getting up on you towards the end of that. Okay. So we've got to be prepared that in this next one, we're sort of going to have that period of that intensity for sort of four minutes. Okay. Roll it out. Okay, take our time. Try and catch your breath. Drink on the go if you need it. Okay, and just mentally start focusing on 
what we're going to try and achieve on this next one. How did that feel to you? Was there a certain rating that you went, this is actually a really, really nice rhythm. Okay, now let's find that, transfer it into each of the other ones as well. Okay, really start to try and do that through our rating changes, okay, so that we can find it more efficient when we're up at these high rates, okay, which will allow us when we have a go for personal bests, we can find something a little bit more sustainable at that high point of rate, okay? Okay, so we're starting this next one at 22. Find that rhythm. And we find a little bit more of that metronomic rhythm at 24, okay? And then we're gonna start getting that little bit more intensity at 26, and then obviously at 28. <clears throat> okay? So, start off, let's find this rhythm. Moving in. Now. Okay, so let's find the rate first before we worry about power. Okay, there it is. We're moving freely. We're letting that flywheel come up to speed. Okay, now we can think about the application, the press. Knowing we want to get that flywheel moving and then maintain it, pick up the gearing. Okay, our speed drops because we let the revolution slow down. So focusing this front turn, feel how nice and easily we can change this direction with this compression and out. Okay, remember, squeezing lemons under our feet, not mashing them, okay? Press, one push. Open out. Okay, nice. Good. And we're sitting back through the stroke. Handle coming to us at the finish, okay? Not us trying to pull the handle. Let it come. With the sequence of our drive. We get long arms out the front, and we hang. Handle's just going to come to us as we sit back. Nice. Okay, prepare for the change. Ready to just tap it along a little bit quicker. Now, hands feet. Okay. There it is. Now we've got a new rhythm. New flywheel speed. Because we've got better numbers. Let's find our efficiencies. Roll in. Feel the feet in the shoes. That change in weight dispersion. Put on the toes, help get us over, okay, floating, and then starting to feel that load. Nice. Okay, this is good. Breathe into it. Ease the rhythm around the turn, okay. Hands to us. Good. The rhythm. Okay. We want to be thinking that this handle speed from the drive handles in, handles out. Okay. Supple knees. Don't lock them out. We want to be able to flow over have a really easy knee break and then roll in with it. Let the knees come up. Seat comes to the ankles. Body holds position. 
That's it. Okay, up two. <clears throat> Moving freer now. Hand speed with me. There it is. Okay, slowly let that flywheel get a bit quicker. Leg drive. Good. This is good. Okay, now we want to settle into this rhythm. Be effective, be efficient, smooth and relaxed. Heal the ratio, work, rest. Find that breathing spot for yourself. Nice. Really good. Okay, we're going to hold and maintain this. Picking that flywheel. Feel it around the front. Good. Ease of speed. Allowing that body as we push. Leg speed. Then then the body comes with it. Okay, nice. This is nice. Okay, sitting a good platform here. Good speed. Okay, tapping it up. This one. Now, feel the push, feel this rhythm around the turn, speed of travel, okay, try and be loose, feel the machine still trying to pull us back. Okay, feel it in the arms. Don't be heat here, okay? Relax, let them flow. Brush the body, hands away. Okay, if we compress, remember, squeeze away, squeeze away. Okay, breathe, relax the face. Good rhythm. Nice. Work, rest, breathe, relax. That's it. Okay, 15 strokes left. Roll with it. <clears throat> no tension in the shoulders. Hang in the lats now. Long arms. Push away from the handle. Let it come. <clears throat> nice. Okay. Okay, pretty sure you're sitting there going, yep. Tensity is starting to creep up. That's good. Okay. It's very good. So now we take a moment here. Really breathe it in. Okay, it's not a lot of rest time, but we want to keep that intensity. So this next one. We have a small amount of reprieve at the start, okay? When we get on to 24, find a rhythm, tap it along, okay? And then we're gonna have three changes. 
we want to just eke out a little bit more on each one okay remembering the overall picture <coughs> efficiency over power okay we're going to have to work anyway to get that leg speed on the drive but the moment we start thinking we've got to be too powerful on the drive we're just going to put ourselves into a rut okay we want to stay on top of it we want to keep the flywheel spinning which is this whole compression in and change okay speed in and away okay and it's a hang away we're not doing this okay really just come in and push away let that body open up through the through the drive okay so let's focus this set right in front of us get it moving let's get it built up to speed take a little bit to get it there okay and then we've got our platform to build on from there moving in now okay so just spend a bit of time finding our rate getting it up to speed okay there it is we've got rating now just squeeze it out a little bit more get back onto the speed you know you can hold at 24 okay try and find a little bit of relaxation time recovery work rest there it is okay good nice long hang focus there really engage these lats engage the legs the lower part of the body the core and the hips sit back nice Okay, this is good. This is smooth. This is relaxed. Really good. Okay, we've got our platform here. Whatever we've got, we're going to move on from this. Who any tips? Now, Hand speed. Okay, move them around. Good, nice effort. Flywheel speed, recovery speed, metronome, continuous. Okay, feel that finish with me, brush the body, flat draw. Really good. Open the mouth. Feel that compress into the front. Change of direction, smooth. Okay. really focus on it trying to be smooth it's always going to be a little bit of take up we can't be connected straight away hence why through the stroke that's where the power is applied got to get it up and running well we can't get up to speed straight away takes it right through we use all that muscle group. Nice. Okay. 
Open the mouth, here we go. It's gonna be testing from here. 28. Now. <clears throat> okay, feel that lead speed. There it is, we've got it there. Sustain. Every stroke. Not trying to work harder every stroke. Same. Same. Just repeat. Repeat the stroke time and time again. Good. Building that endurance. Relaxed endurance. Long arms with me. Hand. Getting tall. This is good. Really good. Hold. Become a metronome. Work. Rest. Work. Rest. Hands. Round the finish. Okay. Good. Wearing us down. Stay composed. Remember, add a little bit, move quicker as we go up, if you can. Now, remember, natural length, don't overreach. Good, and that flywheel moving. Pick it up. Smooth. Nice, good rhythm. Okay, relax your face with me. Open the mouth. Stay composed. This is good. Good rhythm. Good breathing. Heads up. <clears throat> nice. Hold this, tap it along. Remember, it's flywheel. Squeeze. Fly it through. Sit there. Long arms with me. Armpits. Down in the lats. Composure. Nice. Okay. Don't stop. Whatever you do. Okay. <clears throat> See what I mean? Just starting to get right up there in intensity. Okay. We need to hold ourselves and be composed. <clears throat> also, it's very hard talking, not gonna lie. Okay, but we're here, okay? <clears throat> we're at the precipice. <clears throat> this is us, final part. 
Okay, stay loose now. We're really gonna have to chunk this down, okay? Minute by minute, okay? Section by section. We wanna take no longer than 30 seconds to get up to speed, okay? But remember, first and foremost, let's find our rate, find our rhythm of our, of our stroke before we start really thinking about the power, okay, yes, there has to be an element to get our leg speed, I know that, okay, but don't just outright start hauling on it from the word go, build into it, relax into it, find 26, and we're going to tap it along, okay, every rating, when we increase that speed, the flywheel is now going quicker, we want to eliminate any fade on the flywheel, and so we've got to tap it along. Don't be too overpowering at the front. Pick it up with that compression. Move with it. Here we go. Now. Okay, it's going to be a great set. Okay, lengthen it out. Natural length. Be content with your compression without reaching. Good. This is us. Okay, let's sit back into this. Comfortable rhythm. Metronomic. Speed in, speed out. Look at that handle. Brush the body in the way, out over the knees. Draws us forward. Good. Sustainable here. Look at your numbers, hold. Work, rest, same, on repeat. Same pressure on repeat. Try and make it smoother. We all know we're working hard. It's our efficiency, repeatability, which is sustainability. I want to be more proficient. Okay, here we go. Spread up. Now. Good. Press. With me. Acceleration. Good leg speed. Put them around the back. <clears throat> Good. Okay. Hold this. Patience. Breathe. Very good. On repeat. Move with it. Very good. This is us. Okay, hold. Hold the flow. Shake out any tension. Breathe. Around the turn with me. Front. And back. Smooth. Nice hang. Good team. Hang now with me. Arms out long. Let them come. <clears throat> really good. 
had to right bring it up this way now apply move There it is, flywheel now at a new speed. Maintain. Sit there. Good. Hold. Hold the rhythm. Work. Rest. Soft knees. Hand and seat. Handle and seat on the recovery, bringing the body forward. Good. Okay, hold. Tap the flywheel with me. Tap. Pick speed. Hold speed. Out of the shoulders. Good. Really hang with me. Right through the body. Body weight through the mass. Driven by the legs. That's it. Open the mouth, relax the face. Last change. Now, tap. We want more speed. Quickness of movement. There it is. Don't overwork it. Tap. Hang. Hang speed, leg speed. Try not to get tired. up. Hands around, finish in front. Good. Hold. Open the mouth. Long arms with me. That's it. Moves around the front. Application. Yeah, that's it. Last minute. Smooth. Speed. This is a hold. Tap. 20 strokes. Round the front. Feet. 15. Last 10. Hold. Bodies. Yeah, boy. Holy moly. Okay, that's off. Wow. Right, okay, breathe. Let's compose ourselves. Okay, banger. Absolute banger. Okay, really, really, really good. I don't know about you guys, but just me the last six minutes was very good. 
okay? And that last sort of three minutes, oh boy, some good speed, okay? But I was right on the limit. Really nothing more to give it that rating, okay? But just really trying to find how much we can move that flywheel, okay? We can pick it up, just tap it along, tap it along, tap it along, move freely around the back, okay? Beauty, real gung-ho. Okay, keep breathing. We'll row through this. We'll have a few minutes on the end, okay? Really just talking. I'll talk, you warm down, <laughs> okay? So, press your menu button a couple of times. Saves it all to your log, uh, to the memory, okay? Upload it to your log book, whatever you want to do. Okay, and now let's just, let's take five big deep breaths. Feels like it's got to be every second breath. Okay, good. Right, now, let's just start a little bit more active recovery. So let's just put a little bit of body weight behind the handle now, okay? So we're not just flopping the legs down anymore. You can actually feel a connection. This is going to stimulate that fresh oxygenated blood down to the muscles. Okay, very good. Nice. Okay, we can make it nice and long. We don't have to move super quick. But we want to try and hold the same focus, same feeling. Let's think about these hands. Let's think about this recovery. Think about and feel this chain getting drawn into the cowsing. Okay? It's drawing. What are we doing? We're allowing it and we're rolling with it. Okay? We're not chasing it. We are connected on the handles. We can be connected very easy with one finger and it's still going to draw us forward. Okay? Soft knees. Roll. Roll to that compression point, okay? And then when we're there, it's just one smooth press and hang all the way. Just like that, that's it, it's nice, okay? Feel the hang under the armpits. Leave the hands out there. Don't even think about drawing them in. Let them come, okay? Good, let them come to us. Smooth, continuous, even now trying to take any sort of blocky, stagnated, segmented, sorry, motion out of our stroke. Everything molds together, opens out and smoothly molds together again. Okay, good. Okay, this is good. So we can do this as we finish off. Okay, finish off our warm down. So you guys play it by ear, okay? Depending on how tired you are, <clears throat> how much you worked in that, okay? Continue to warm down if you need to. I highly recommend it, okay? Make sure you keep the nutrition up, get enough water in, okay? Because it's a very, very good session, very punchy, okay? When I talked about it being sub-max, Pretty sure, I'm hoping you guys were pretty close to that <laughs> towards the end of that last set, okay? And that's the idea, okay? We're putting some videos on the stream here that are just starting to really test, okay? Starting to really push you at that upper limit, okay? And we want to keep doing this with our ceiling. We want to keep tapping on it, like today. If we're like, you know what, should I'm not far off my, my pace and I've already done like 24 odd minutes of work at a high intensity and I'm here pushing on my ceiling I know I could push through that if I had the opportunity to do it okay but we're working on that efficiency at the same time when we're under stress because we've got to stay efficient we've got to stay as relaxed as we can be 
okay? It's as we can be. Everybody's different, but we've got to try and stay as relaxed as we can be to get that efficiency, to get that proficiency in what we're trying to achieve with that stroke, okay? Time and time again. You heard me saying it, right? Same amount of work, recovery. Same amount of work, recovery, okay? We're not trying to work harder every stroke. We're trying to do the same, the same, the same, okay? So we're trying to do the same output, but obviously our energy levels are going this way, okay? And that's exactly right. That's exactly how it should be. And if we had stayed efficient, we would have got very close to the finish before we probably popped, okay? But great session, okay? Really proud of you guys. Great work. Um, as I say, rest up. Uh, sorry we're not doing any Q&A today. Plenty of things on. So I'm here putting sessions on for you, which I know are going to really help and benefit you right now and in the future, okay? So thanks, team. Thanks for me and the Sensei team. Keep tuning in. Keep your eye out on stuff. Send me messages if you want some pointers, whatever you need. Okay. Really happy to help out here. But warm down. Great session. Let's see you guys here next time. Peace out. Oh, crikey. That was a banger. Good work, team. See you later.